Hey guys, Apple today has officially released iOS 12.2 Beta 5 to registered developers. As I usually like to say, public beta testers, you'll probably see this later tonight at the latest tomorrow. But developers, you can head on over to settings, general software updates, and you'll see Beta 5 populate on your device. Now, as always in today's video, I wanna share with you guys some of the changes within the software. Now, the biggest change with this software to me, and it was quickly apparent, is the actual performance, how smooth the software has become from beta four to beta five. And beta four was pretty stable, but before we get to any of that, let me go ahead and show you the size of the download was approximately 282 megabytes. That's on the iPhone 10s coming from beta four to beta five. Of course, it depends on the software that you're coming from, the size may vary, but pretty much if you're coming from beta four to beta five, you won't see more than 300 megabytes on your device. Now let's take a quick look here at the current bill number and the about section here. And there's one thing that's apparent here as well. iOS 12.2, 16E, 5223A. Now that's a long bill number. Usually when we see long bill numbers, it means we still have another beta. Well, this could be the Goldmaster copy. The reason I say that is because Apple hasn't been sending out Goldmaster copies to developers before official releases for the last several software releases. Although we still have a long build number and a feedback application on the springboard, this could pretty much be the Goldmaster copy. Now, again, as I mentioned, one thing that's super apparent is the actual performance of the software. It's just so buttery smooth. Everything is flowing so, so nice. This software is pretty much ready for prime time. I'm pretty sure Apple could be releasing iOS 12.2 on the week of the 25th. And now if you haven't been following the Apple news, Apple could be holding an event on March 25th, which is going to be services related. So new iTunes services, maybe new, new subscription services, new TV services, and things like that. But Apple could be taking this moment to also release iOS 12.2 to the general public. Now, we'll have to wait and see what Apple decides to do. If they do intend to release on the 25th, next week we won't see a beta. This could be counted as the gold master copy. It will be ready to receive this software to the general public on the 25th as mentioned. Now, of course, I wanna go ahead and run a benchmark here as I usually like to do to see the numbers and I'll be right back. These numbers are looking amazing, 48, 20, 11,079. These numbers are just off the charts. The performance is good. If you guys are coming from beta four to beta five, I think you will agree that this software is just so ready to be released to the public. Everything is right in place. Now, of course, I'm going to be following up with you guys in regards to the battery because the battery has been great as well with this software. iOS 12.2 beta four has given me anywhere from eight to nine hours of battery life on screen time, and I'm a heavy user. So that's really, really good news in regards to battery, but be sure to stay tuned here to the channel. Of course, I'll have the follow-up video with any additional new features and changes, anything I come across, any bugs or anything like that. Of course, the battery I'll be testing as well. So thank you for watching today's video, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.